Hello my friend, welcome. My name is Brenton and today I'm gonna give us some tricks and tips to get our shoulders feeling a lot better uh, because I know a lot of us have really achy shoulders and upper backs from spending a lot of time doing things like this. So I just uh, posted another video that's all talking about getting the upper back muscles online back here to move the shoulder blades around the back. So I definitely recommend starting there. When you start to feel that little bit of achiness in the shoulders, start with shoulder blade movements, getting the upper back muscles online, getting the rest of the body set with the pelvis in neutral, ribs in neutral, we go over that in the other video, head in neutral, and then moving the shoulders in a controlled way around neutral. So once the upper back gets online, now it's time to take our shoulder through a full range of its motion. So these can feel really great for the chest, really um, opening up some congestion here, and also um, reinforcing the work that we did in the upper back with the shoulder blade movements. So to begin, you wanna find neutral with your pelvis. Again, that's gonna be respecting the, the baby back bend curve, natural curve of your low back. So we all gotta kind of figure that out for ourselves of what does neutral mean? and then lifting the rib cage up over the pelvis so that there's space in the abdomen, but it's even on all sides. And then with the shoulders, you know, you roll them open and close. By this time you've done the other exercise. So you should feel like you can set your shoulders well, where they're set, they're not slopping off the body like this. They're set with the thumbs resting forward. So from here, I like to use my left hand on the right side of the body to just feel around because I'm gonna feel for areas that are moving that I don't want to be moving. So I'm gonna start on the ribs. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send my attention into the head of the arm bone and I'm gonna imagine how it's set up there where the head of the arm bone is snug in to the shoulder blade socket created by the side of the shoulder blade. So I want, to keep that socket relationship nice and snug here. As I start to reach forward the shoulder blade, so even this muscle down here reaching forward the shoulder blade and the arm all the way up. And stop like here with the arm in front and get the arm nice and strong so it's not limp here. You're reaching out through the pinky and through the hand here and you're resisting movement of your ribs because what can sometimes happen is when you do this, this happens. Um, and that's just not what we're going for. So play the edge of the arm all the way up to the sky in shoulder flexion. And if you really do a good job of not moving in your ribs or your spine or your pelvis, you're gonna feel a really great stretch through this, through the armpit and through the side waist here, okay? So now feeling that this arm is pulled into the shoulder blade socket there, and you're gonna turn the palm open to the right, and at the same time, follow that down the arm so that in here in the socket, you're also turning that in that same direction. And, but you're pulling into the socket here, and now you're pushing that hand back and down, trying not to move the ribs. So let's see if we can do that again. Just that same direction. So you're reaching it all the way forward, trying to keep the socket feeling nice and good. When you get to the top and you max out, which you might be here, okay? So don't be surprised, you might be here. You're gonna turn open at the palm, open into the arm, and you're pushing back and all the way down by the side. And you're trying to move as slowly as possible. So let's do that one more time. And we wanna choose ranges of motion where we feel good. So if you feel like you have any pinching or pain in the joint, you wanna avoid that range for now and work up to it over time. So that's one direction with one arm. And then you wanna go the other direction. So from here with the palm facing behind us, we're gonna push the hand back, but we're gonna not do that at the expense of the shoulder rolling forward like this. So I wanna get my shoulder back where, where it was, and I'm pushing the hand back. I'm imagining how the arm is pulling into the side of the shoulder socket, and then I'm trying to stay nice and lifted through the spine. 
Same principle here, we're going to the rotation. So you rotate through the hand first. So you're rotating the hand out and then reaching the arm all the way up and forward. So let's do that one more time, pushing the hand back, opening out at the hand, reaching all the way out and up. Let's do that just one more time. So taking this as an opportunity to reset the shoulder and restore some range of motion. Remind the shoulder that you want access to this range of motion because if you sit here all day like this, your body and brain feels like, oh, this is all I ever need to do. So then you get back out of it. You're like, no, buddy, I actually want you to have full range of motion because I want you to be able to do more things when I need you to. And that's why you stand up, you take your breaks, you get your upper back muscles online using the shoulder blade movement. And then you do these full shoulder rotations, nice and slow, three times, let's say on each side, you can work up and do more. But really this should be our goal every day. Um, especially if you have persistent pain in any part of the, the chest, the shoulders, the arms, the upper back. Um, do it every day. Try it every day for a week when you're watching TV or you just need um, a quick break in the work, middle of the workday and see how you feel. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, if anything's not feeling great for you, uh, leave it in the comments. I bet somebody else is probably going through the same thing. So it'll make them feel like they have a friend there in the universe. And I'll do my best to monitor the comments and uh, get back to you if anything's not feeling right. And I definitely hope that this helps make everything up here feel super great and wonderful.